Hi everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Ksenia and in today's video I'm gonna test out new makeup products. Most of those products I've been trying out for a week already, so I have an opinion that I'm gonna share with you of course. And let's see if they're worth buying or not. Obviously I'm gonna put all these products on my face and do complete makeup so that you can see for yourself. And we're gonna be reviewing Lime Crime. Venus Third, Natasha Denona, some NARS, as well as Anastasia Beverly Hills, and more affordable brands like Wet n Wild and Colourpop. To find out more about these products, stay with me, and before you continue watching, don't forget to subscribe. Let's start. I think we should start with skincare that I use today, and by the way, this t-shirt is misguided in collaboration with Playboy. I just got it yesterday and wearing it for the first time, so fair enough to say that I'm trying it out also today. First of all, for the last like two weeks, maybe three weeks, I've been using Pixi Glow Tonic. I actually wanted to buy some tonic which will be nice for everyday use. But since I have very sensitive skin and this tonic is meant to remove all the dead cells and like renew your skin, I feel like using it maybe twice a day is too much, but at least once a day. I feel like it's perfect. It gives you yeah, some glow, but I don't really see it after I put makeup on. But still I pretty much like it. Only I wish it wouldn't leave some kind of a bit of stickiness on the face, but actually after it I normally put this bad boy, Glam Glow Water Bars. It's like, <laughs> oh my god, it's like really my favorite face cream now. Um, it promises, I guess, 72 hours of hydration. I wouldn't say 72, but for the whole day, truly. And uh, what I love about it, wait, let me tell you. I wish I could like send the smell to you. Oh my god, it smells like bubble gum. Like literally smells like bubble gum. It's getting over like most of it I already use and I have a new one somewhere there. It leaves your skin a bit oily but nothing too much. So I love how makeup goes on it. And here I have NARS, brand new pure radiant tinted moisturizer. It has SPF 30, which is always appreciable and it is in the lightest color light zero it's called tinted moisturizer so it's basically like a BB cream and I really love using it for every day like this is a brand new one but honestly <laughs> before I used to have one of these only in the shade light one but it was kind of too dark for me anyways I use the whole thing because you know, when you go to the uni and in the morning you don't want to spend like so much time putting foundation on this one, you can put it with your hands, with Beauty Blender, like literally with anything. And I'm gonna put it with my Artis brush. It's a pretty expensive one, but I don't know, I really love it. I was thinking about putting primer, but for this one I don't really need it. Oh god, I think I've put too much. <laughs> Today I'm gonna go for more wearable light makeup and don't really I don't really want to do something like X it normally takes me like one minute to blend it out I definitely put too much but it's okay if whenever I put too much I just oh, blend it on my neck and it's perfectly fine so this tinted moisturizer, I love the glow and the natural look that it gives to your skin because, I don't know, it just looks so pretty and in real life it doesn't even look like I'm wearing anything. Also, it's actually moisturizing so it keeps my skin hydrated throughout the day and it doesn't get like cakey or anything like that. It's not necessary to set it with powder but I mostly do if I'm gonna put some like powder products on top of it but if I want to go for a damn natural look I just put this and like nothing else and since I have a lot of redness on my face like all the time this tinted moisturizer it actually covers it up because other BB creams that I have they don't do shit I'm gonna use Colourpop no filter concealer it is a really nice one, but honestly, I tried it like only once when I was doing the first impression. That one time, I really liked it. 
but it was with another foundation so let's see how it's gonna go here the only problem is that the shade of it is like really really light even for me but let's see it's gonna be fun <laughs> you can see it i didn't want to put a lot too much oh god i have redness here but it's too light but let's see if it will cover it to here God, when I start pushing concealer, someone has to stop me, or else that's what happens. But it's fine. Let it be. I'm taking my beauty blender and I'm gonna blend it out. I should say that it covers my under eyes pretty nicely, but I still can see a bit. But we're going for a natural look, so I don't think it's a big issue. Only I wish it was a bit not as light as it is, but I guess I'm gonna live with it. I've just put a tiny, tiny bit of Tarte Shape Tape Concealer to cover this up because the color pop is too light, honestly, to do it here. Tarte Shape Tape is honestly the best. Like. Now let's use powder. Unfortunately, I don't have a new one, so we're gonna use my also all-time favorite Laura Mercier translucent setting powder I'm gonna put mostly under eyes I'm not gonna bake or anything I don't know it just looks cool on camera that's why I'm doing it but now again I'm gonna take a little bit of this powder and put all over my face but not too much because I don't want to get a cakey look even though you can get a cakey look with Laura Mercier. Before we continue with the face, you guys, I would really like to do my brows because I feel naked. Like, naked. Because look at this. Unfortunately, from the nature, my brows don't have any color. I don't know why, because, like, that's my hair color. Anyways, for brows, we have two products today. A new gel, which I actually have never tried. Like, never. Look, I have such a cute bag with a free Anastasia Beverly Hills products. So here we have a clear brow gel. And here we have a Basha Brow Precision Pen by Lime Crime in the shade Baby Brown. I actually have the same one in the shame dirt shame in the shade Dirty Blonde. Dirty Blonde was too light for me, so I got this one. And let's try. And by the way, guys, let me know if you want me to film a full review for the Bashi Brow Collection by Lime Crime. As always, brushing my brows first with Anastasia 12, like brush number 12. Doing my brows on camera, it's like a, a real task. So half of the brow is done. Now I'm gonna take a lighter shade and fill it in in the starting a bit more because I really prefer using both of the shades, the lighter and darker one for a more like natural looking brow. I'm gonna do this brow off camera. Now I'm gonna try on clear brow gel from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I actually love the deep brow pomade from this brand and I finally get to try the gel. It is completely clear and doesn't have any color to it. So it should hold my brows properly. Oh my God, I just took it out and it actually smells with spirit like alcohol so much. I don't know why, but my skin, like on my brow, looks red. It honestly looks like my lime crime pen has gone a little bit in those places where I actually touch the skin with this gel. So Basha Brow Precision Pen is actually a good, really good product. Like, it's the best pen I've ever tried. It's really as you can see on the end and it gives you an opportunity to draw actually like hairs which look quite natural you just need to like 
practice a little bit even though it came out good for me the first time itself and I feel like it's perfect for those people who just want to fill in their brows a little bit obviously now it would be easier for me to use pomade but I just wanted to show you I'm gonna color my brows today I like promised myself already for one month and uh, when my brows are colored and my hairs have some color to them it's honestly perfect like I really really love it this clear gel I don't know maybe it's honestly not for me not right now when my hairs don't have any color to them because I always use gels but I prefer some other ones which have color to them I feel like it would be perfect for those of you who have like big brows quite thick hairs that need extra fixation so far it is not my favorite now we finished with brows and let's continue with face here I have wet and wild bronzer in the color what color is that I don't know what color is that but I guess it's like light because there were just three I got it from called beauty it's a really nice powder but since it is very light I'm gonna use it like a perfecting powder because it has a little bit um how to say glow to it I don't know if you can see but you're gonna see that so I'm gonna put it oh my god did you see that? I'm gonna put it all over a bit more because as I told you it's actually like a powder because it doesn't really give that much bronze in this color but still I like how it makes my face look Yeah, you can see it gives a natural radiant glow you know I like everything glow like honestly foundations like highlighters even blushes and since I mentioned the glowy blush we're gonna be trying Natasha Denona diamond and glow this is a duo it has a highlighter and the blush in it, which are both glowy it has a nice small mirror quite convenient though so now I'm gonna take my lime grime brush. Look at it. Why do I love all this gorgeous stuff? Anyway, so let's try it. It has like a. I don't really see it on the brush, but it has a really nice gold glow. You will just see. No, you saw. It looks like if I'm putting highlighter on. I'll try my best not to put too much of a blush, but if you know me, you know I love blush. So now you can see that I've put this blush on and honestly, it looks so pretty and pinky. Look with my t-shirt, it goes so nice. And um, it actually looks like if I'm having already a highlighter on. So I already wore this blush quite enough of times to tell you that what I love about it, like except the glow and cool pinky color. First of all, it doesn't like show all of your texture because some products do, but this one doesn't. I wouldn't say like it covers all your texture. No, actually it does because I don't really see any pores with it. And what I love about it m the most is the way it stays like I've put it on I remember I went to central London like in the morning I came back really late and it was still on and it was so bright and this small baby cost not that much but I feel like it's a really good price to try Natasha Denona because you know I wanted the full palette with her blushes and, uh, and highlighters there are like six shades are there but it was like 80 pounds and this baby is like 17, 19 I'll write somewhere here if you really want to have some of Natasha Denona's products I really recommend this one but give me a second we haven't tried highlighter yet my Anastasia A23 brush 
and let's take highlighter glitters there are huge and my first mistake was because i love like blinding highlighter first time when i was putting this on i didn't do that and you need to do it because otherwise you'll end up having like huge glitters all over your face so be careful with that but look this highlighter is a real bad boy a lot okay let's go to a little bit more I already can see some like big glitters which are trying to fly all over my face but we're not gonna let them I put just a little bit on the top of my lip and now I have it all over here and just a little bit on my nose but of course if you don't like glittery highlighters you don't need this just you don't need this now let's take a moment for this Venus I'm crying packaging, what are you doing with me? Just look at it. I don't know. I feel like it's everything girl we want. This is the third edition of Venus by Lime Crime. They have two others. I have one of them and they have an XL one. Damn pretty. Just look at them. I already applied my shadow insurance shadow primer by Too Faced. I love it and always use it. Today I want to do something pinky, like, I mean, I always do, but something more light pinky. So we're gonna use shade Dreamy. And apply it in the crease. If you're not such a pro with eyeshadows, but you still want something cute, I would recommend going with Lime Crime. Maybe, if not this palette, some other if you don't like pink shades that much and that is from just applying once i took a smaller brush from zoeva and now i'm gonna go with the shade please and a bit deepen my crease now i'm going again with the shade bliss and put it on my under lid and put it on my lower lash line you know on my skin it definitely looks more pink because here it looks not as bright and it looks more peachy with the bigger brush I'm going to go into dreamy again Now I'm taking the glitter eyeshadow by Hourglass. I've been wanting it for so long. I have it in the lightest color called Reflect. And I don't know, it's so nice. I like packaging. <laughs> Basically the texture reminds me of Colourpop single eyeshadows because like it's so soft I can press it and like it will go down a little bit so I'm gonna put it on the color and the way it shines are so pretty I'm gonna use the shade heavenly and honestly I was really excited about these two colors but they are more kind of toppers I wish they were like metallics so they look better on top of some other glittery eyeshadow. I'm gonna take my finger and take this heavenly color because look on the camera it looks really cool. This formula they're really rough and you need to like go into it and then I'm applying it on top. And it makes it even more glowy. Now I took this smaller brush again. I'm gonna put some MAC Fix Plus. I'll take the shade Beam. And we'll try to put it here in my inner corner. Oh my god. shines so pretty look at this 
We finished with eyeshadows and now I'm gonna... Oh, sorry. One second. Pardon. Pardon. I'm taking the color Rapture and putting it under my brow. It gives a nice soft glow. A really nice shade, but it's definitely shimmery. I love it. I really love how eyeshadows look so pretty. And now the only thing left is lips. Oh my god, guys. I really wanted to show you the Lime Crime new lipstick that I got in the shade. It is the same blushes, but in the shade Marmalade. It's so lit. I tried it like once, but I fell in love with it. And you know what? I can find it. Yes, of course. I freaking lose everything. <laughs> but um, it should be somewhere in the house. So maybe in my next video I'll show it to you. And now I want to use this one. It's like such a pretty color. It's called Dragon Fruit. I haven't showed it to you yet. So you're gonna see now for the first time. It is a vibrant fuchsia. So a really bright color. But since I want it to be more like a tint rather than like bright lipstick, I'm gonna do this with my fingers. That's what I really love about Lime Crime Plushes, that you can use it as a proper lipstick. Put in like normal layer or you can blend it out or just put a little bit for some tint. Thank you so much for watching guys. I really hope that you enjoyed it and found it useful for yourself. If so, put thumbs up for this video and let me know in the comments below what other videos you would like to see or maybe some particular products you would like me to review. So let me know and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!